You don't have to split each gear as you downshift. You could downshift from 8th OD to 7th OD to 6th OD and then to 5th OD, shifting with the lever only. The choice is up to you. However, be sure to split down to direct before attempting a downshift to a low-range gear. Shifting from overdrive to low range can cause damage to the transmission. Once you are in fifth direct, prepare for the downshift to fourth gear by pre-selecting low range. When you're ready for the shift, double clutch the lever through to fourth gear. Do not attempt to downshift to low range until your road speed drops off to the low range of speed you noted while upshifting. Shifting to low range at high speed will damage the low range synchronizer. Continue downshifting through the low range pattern as the load pulls the engine RPM down to the lower shift point of each shift. Now that you're acquainted with the normal shifting procedures for 13 speed road ranger transmissions, you can further improve your driving skill by practicing the following tips which will make your job easier and prevent damage to the transmission. Skip shifting is possible if the load, terrain, and speed allow it. If skip shifts are made from low to high range, such as fourth to sixth, or from high to low range, such as sixth to fourth, be sure to pre-select the range by moving the range control valve before moving the lever through neutral to the next gear position. Quick upshifts are possible by using the upshift clutch brake. Such shifts are sometimes required while pulling a hill or driving under other conditions which rapidly slow the vehicle's road speed. To use the clutch brake, make your upshift in the normal manner, except push the clutch pedal all the way to the floor as you move the lever out of gear to neutral. You should use the clutch brake only when necessary so as to prevent premature wear of the clutch brake. Never use the clutch brake for downshifts. You can pre-select low range when approaching a corner. The transmission will remain in the high range until the lever is moved through neutral to a low gear position. After completing the turn, return to normal upshifting procedures. And here's a caution. Do not shift to low range while the vehicle is traveling at a road speed which should be handled by high-range gears. What do you do if the low-range gear is in the same lever position as the high-range gear you are coming out of, such as eighth to fourth? Then you must push the range control button down, shift to neutral, and then back to the fourth gear position. This allows the auxiliary to shift to low range. Road Ranger transmissions are designed so that the percent of RPM you must drop to complete an upshift in high range is the same for each shift. This makes it easy for you to develop a shifting rhythm. Progressive shifting is also possible. Professional drivers use this technique to help save fuel, reduce noise at low speeds, and cut down on engine wear. To use the progressive shifting technique, Start your upshifts at an RPM less than governed. This is possible since most engines produce their greatest torque well below governed RPM. As you shift into the higher gears, you start your upshifts at higher RPM as required to maintain your speed. For example, if you're driving a truck with a 2100 RPM engine, you might start the shift from low to first at 1100 RPM. Then make the first to second shift at 1300 RPM, second to third at 1400 RPM, third to fourth at 1700, and fourth to fifth at 1900. The shifts to sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth are then made at about 2100 RPM. Of course, if the load and terrain permit, you can start all up shifts at less than 2100 RPM. With a little practice, progressive shifting will become natural to you, and the extra effort required to learn it will pay off in fuel cost savings. Another fuel saving driving technique is to operate the engine at less than governed RPM while in the top gear. This will enable you to drive in the cruising speeds at less than governed RPM, 
in the more efficient fuel range of the engine. And if you need extra speed because of road or traffic conditions, you have the reserve power to bring the engine back up to governed RPM while still in the top gear. You can also practice a few precautions that will help you prevent slip-out, hard shifting, and other failures. Never move the range control or splitter valves with the lever in neutral. Such movement will cause clashed clutching teeth and burn synchronizers in the auxiliary section. So when upshifting or downshifting, move the control valves only when the lever is in gear. These same failures will result if a shift to low range is attempted at too high a road speed, or if a range shift is attempted while traveling in reverse. They will also result if you downshift directly from an overdrive ratio to low range. Remember, if you are in overdrive, be sure to downshift to direct before downshifting to low range. Attempting to start too high a gear, or starting in high range, can cause twisting of the main shaft. Such twisting causes hard shifting, or it may lock the vehicle in gear. Always start in low when loaded. When starting empty or bobtailing, you can start in first. Coasting in neutral to gain speed on downhill slopes will score the main shaft gear hubs and tolerance washers. In extreme cases, the gears and washers may weld themselves together and crack. The same failures will result if your truck is towed with the rear wheels on the ground. Make sure the tow truck driver raises the drive wheels, pulls the axle shafts, or disconnects the drive shaft. Now take another look at the main points to remember when shifting your 13-speed Road Ranger transmission. One, never move the range control button with the lever in neutral. Two, never downshift at too high a road speed. Three, never range shift while traveling in reverse. Four, never coast in neutral. Five, double clutch all lever shifts. And six, always start in the proper gear for the load. When you use these techniques and follow the correct procedures for shifting your Road Ranger transmission, you will find your driving skills greatly improved. But even more, you will not only find your driving easier, you will also enjoy reduced operating costs. Happy driving.